بالله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear respected brothers and sisters Inshallah ta'ala We're going to take uh, some benefit from the tafsir of Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nasr Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala and we are still doing Surah Al-Baqarah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لا جناح عليكم إن طلقتم النساء ما لم تمسوهن أو تفردوا, أو تفردوا لهن فريضة ومتعوهن على الموسع قدره وعلى المقتر قدره متاعا بالمعروف حقا على المحسنين There is no sin on you if you divorce women with whom you have not consummated nor appointed for them their dowry amount but make provisions for them uh, the rich according to his means and the poor according to his means a gift of reasonable amount this is a duty on the good doers Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Sa'di rahimahullah he said people if you divorce your wives before having intercourse with them or agreement upon a dowry then there is no sin on you for doing this. Although there is a loss in it for the, for the women, however, this loss can be rectified through compensation for the divorce. Hence, it is a duty for you to give them some dowry uh, in empathy, the rich according to his means and the poor according to his means. So giving some alimony to the divorced woman is a duty, while the amount and type of alimony may vary according to the local customs and time. For this reason, <coughs> Allah says, a gift of reasonable amount, which is an essential duty on the good doers. And so they should not they should not curtail this duty since they initiated within these women the feelings of hope, recurring desires, and heartily inclination, but then did not fulfill their, the, these hopes. So they must compensate for this deprivation and provide the women some benefit. How good is Allah's decision? How reflective is His decision of His deep wisdom and benevolence? And how good, how good is this decision for these people whose hearts are filled with faith because they know that no one can give a better decision than Allah. This Commandment is regarding those women who were divorced before having intercourse or before their dowry was agreed upon. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, وَإِن طَلَّقْتُمُوهُنَّ قَبْلَ أَن تَمَسُّوهُنَّ وَقَدْ فَرَدْتُمْ لَهُنَّ فَرِيدَةً فَنِصْفُ مَا فَرَدْتُمْ إِلَّا أَنْ يَعْفُونَ أَوْ يَعْفُوَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ عُقَدَةُ النِّكَاحِ وَأَنْ تَعْفُوا أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَنْسَوُ الْفَضْلَ بَيْنَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ If you divorce them before consummation, but after fixing a dowry amount for them, then give them half of what you fixed unless they waive their rights. Or the one who holds the marriage tie waves it. To wave it is nearer to righteousness. And so do not forget to be generous towards one another. Allah, Allah sees while you do, what you do. Allah sees what you do. Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Sa'di rahimahullah, he says Allah describes the issue of those women whose dowry has been agreed upon, but in a course has not taken place. Allah affirms that if you divorce your wife 
after agreeing upon a dowry, then you are required to pay her half of the dowry and retain the other half. If the divorced woman does not forego her share, then it is mandatory for the man to pay her the said amount, whereas it is permissible for a woman to voluntarily relinquish her share, or if the, if the one who holds the marriage tie waves it according to the correct interpretation, this refers to the husband and not the wali, the guardian, because the husband is the only person who can open the tie of marriage. It cannot be a right for a woman's guardian to relinquish any of, the, of her mandatory rights because he is neither her administrator nor her advocate. All, uh, afterwards, Allah persuades us to be forgiven by saying that whoever forgives is nearer to taqwa because this is a kindness that gives strength to one's righteousness. Now, it is better to continue, it is better for a person to continue doing good deeds of forgiveness and benevolence and to not disregard the highest level in piety because there are two levels of piety in people's dealings with each other. First, justice and fairness. This is mandatory and is about respecting and fulfilling the rights the rights of, other, of others while endeavoring, endeavoring to attain one's own rights. Forgiveness and kindness. This refers to giving something to someone. To someone that was not an essential right while being remissive and forgiving about one's own right. It is not befitting for a pious person to completely forget, even occasionally, the second level one, second level one, especially must be very careful and consistently be forgiven and kind towards one's relatives and acquaintance. Allah, Allah rewards the person who is kind and forgiving to others through his own benevolence. This is the reason that Allah says, Allah sees what you do. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all beneficial knowledge and righteous action. Walhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.